Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 71. Inside this video, we will discuss all about PHP Artisan Tinker, which is a interactive command line interface. So if I back to editor, so this is the Laravel setup where we had discussed the last videos of this playlist. So if we want to use the Tinker inside Laravel application, first we need to install that. But by default, when we install Laravel setup, then it comes with the installation. How can we verify? If we go inside the setup, find all about the file called composer.json. If we click on that, and here we can see that we have a package called Laravel forward slash Tinker. So for this package, Laravel Tinker, I didn't install any extra packages inside this application. By default, when we had installed this Laravel setup, then by default, it comes with those setup. If let's say that in your system or in your setup, if this is missing, so how can we install? Simply, what you have to do, open your project in terminal and type composer require laravel forward slash tinker by the help of this command actually you are telling composer that we require laravel tinker so need to install inside my setup so composer will install laravel tinker and automatically it will add inside this require object so this is all about laravel tinker installation inside laravel application now let's see that how can we use this Laravel Tinker inside Laravel application. So if you go to terminal, type PHP, Artisan and Tinker here. So Tinker is nothing, it's a command line interface which is going to interact with the application. So how can we see? Simply type PHP Artisan Tinker. Now if we press enter, as you can see that we are currently inside a cell and by the help of this cell we are going to execute some PHP like PHP code and int means tinker is going to interact with this PHP code to our Laravel application. Now inside this cell if I type a simple command that is echo sample message which is a simple program in PHP to execute or print a simple message. Now if we press enter, as we can see that sample message is printed inside this console. It means Tinker is going to interact with the PHP as well as with the Laravel application. So how can we connect with the Laravel application? If I back to editor, go inside this app, we have models and inside this models we have several models called employee, sample, student. So let's open that. And also, this is the student model which is going to interact with our student's table. Now back to browser. And here we have a student's table. Click on that. Go to structure. So inside this student's table, we have role number, name, email, created at and updated at. So inside this video, we are going to interact with the tinker and database table. We will see that how can we insert means how can we insert, update, delete, select by the help of this tinker cell command inside Laravel application. These are all operations we are going to complete by the help of model. Because for students table, we have a model defined called student. So what we will do, we will load student model inside this tinker cell and by the help of that model we will create update delete and select data so first command i'm going to execute that is create command if we want to insert any data inside our table by the help of model we have several different different methods by the help of those actually we can insert our data inside this table so for now let's discuss about our method called create Apart from create method, also we have the insert method, we will see as well. Now inside this table, we have students table in which these are the columns. So inside, if we go, right now there is no data inside this table. So let's insert some rows inside that. 
back to PHP Artisan Tinker and we are going to interact with the database of Laravel application by the help of model. So we have model called student and scope resolution operator and we will use the command called insert. Now inside this insert I am putting an array and inside this array the columns we have called roll number. I will put the value as 2. Next we have the column as name. I will put my name here. Next we have the email. This is the email value. Let's put a dummy email value here. After that we have two timestamp values if you go to table. Go to structure. So these are the columns already we have specified. Now we have created at and updated at. So back to terminal. Let's say that we are going to put the value for created at column and inside this created at we want a date time object. It means that column is going to contain the date time value. So for the date time value simply type new date and time. Same as we need to do for updated at. So here we have updated at new date and time. So now inside this insert method, we have an array. Inside this array, we have specified all the table columns like roll number, name, email, created at and updated at. And by the help of this model, we are going to insert inside a student's table. So if we press enter, as we can see that the student is an aliasing of app, models and student model. Now the return value is true which indicates that the value has been inserted. Now if you go to browser, click on browse and as we can see that inside this table we have our first row inserted by the help of PHP Artisan Tinker. So this is all about our insert method. Now let's use all about create method. So if I back to terminal. Again type the same command called student and this time instead of insert we will call the create method. So go here and let's change from insert to create. Now if I press enter as you can see that we have some error. Error is that add roll number to fillable property to all mass assignment on student model. So this error means that if we want to use the create method, first of all, we need to make all these columns where we want value to a fillable property. We need to add these columns to fillable property. So what I will do, back here and here as we can see that inside this error, it also specified that the property name called fillable. So how can we use? We need to go inside this student model back to editor. Here we are currently inside student model. Now inside this student model we need to define a property called fillable and inside that fillable property we need to specify all the columns where we want value. And also one more thing that we are inserting the timestamp values inside this students table. So we don't want to add this timestamps equal to false. So what I will do let's make comment of that and in the next let's say protected access specifier next we need to add fillable property and inside this we need to specify the column names so we need values inside roll number next we are inserting the value for this name column next we have here let's say email created at and inside this we have the next column as updated add. So these are the five columns where we are specifying values via this PHP Artisan Tinker cell. So if we want to use again as we know that we have specified inside this fillable property. So when we run again this command it is not working. Why? We need to quit from this Artisan means Tinker cell and again we need to restart that. So to restart this PHP Artisan Tinker cell First of all, we need to exit from here. So simply type 
quit. Now in the next, again we need to start. So PHP, Artisan, Tinker. So if we want to clear this terminal console, simply type clear here. And let's type the command again that is to and create. Inside this create method, we have specified all the columns. So what I will do, let's change this email value from this user to this user. Let's change the name and finally we need to change this roll number so let's say from 2 to its 3. Now if we press enter as we can see that the value has been inserted. To verify if we go here click on browse. Now as we can see that we have the second row inside this students table. So successfully we had seen the two different methods one is insert and second is create to insert data inside our table. Now next let's select some data from our table. So to select data from our database table by the help of model we have several different different methods. If we want to get all the rows what we have inside our table so for that we need to type call student and all. So if we press enter, so right now we have inside our students table two different rows. Also inside this all array we have student object and student object. Inside each student object we have the student details. So currently we are selecting all the data from our table. If let's say that if we want to find only a specific record, let's say row ID equals to 2 or ID equals to 1. So if we want to search any row means any data from this list by the help of this primary key, we need to use the find method. So simply type student, we will use find method and inside this find method, we need to pass the primary key value. So inside this table called students, ID is the primary key and we want to list let's say student ID 2. So what it will do, it will go and execute the command to find ID equals to 2 from list. So here we have, if we press enter and as we can see that this is the data what we are getting. But let's say that apart from ID, if we want to fetch from other column names simply what I will do let's say student we will use the where condition it means where method so here we want that roll number equals to 2 and we will use the get method so if we press enter as we can see that this is an student object whose roll number equals to 2 and all other details and one more thing before using this command, by the help of this command actually we are retrieving a single student object. So why we need to use the get method instead of get method, we need to use the first method. After using this first message means first method, what we will get, pressing enter. So inst instead of getting this collection object, as we can see here, we are getting a single student object. While using this get method, it returns all the data but specifying only this condition, it has picked a single student object. But when we use this first method, it is going to return only a single student object. So this is all about guys, all about insert as well as our select statements. Now let's see few commands for the update method. So for update, we have our model name here. And we need to use call update method. So if we want to update our specific information, let's say that this roll number 2. So what I will do first of all, we need to specify where condition, let's say where roll number equals to 2, putting arrow operator and inside this update method we need to pass an array and inside this array we need to specify the updated value. So if we want to change the role means name value of this role number 2, so let's say that name equals to, I am putting the channel name and the row will be updated on the behalf of this role number. So when we press enter, 
it has returned the one value again if we select let's say student wear roll number equals to first now as you can see that the name has been updated so this is all about using update method now if we want to use the delete method let's say that we want to delete the second number id it means when we select let's say student find this second two it means primary key value equals to two pressing enter this is the row actually what we are getting let's delete that so student we will use where method and inside this where method let's put roll number either roll number or let's say id so id equals to two and simply we need to call the delete method so pressing enter so here we have some error and that is class undefined so here we have misspelled that pressing enter it has returned one it means the student has been deleted now if you go and search that student from this list we are getting the null value because we have deleted that so this is all about guys our first video over php artisan tinker where we had interacted with the laravel application by the help of model so what is tinker it's a command line interface which gives us the interaction with the Laravel application as well as database. Let's take a scenario. If suppose this interaction cell is not available, so to execute any of the code from here, we need to write PHP code inside our Laravel setup. Also, with each functionality, we need a route. Those routes we need to call into the browser and the operation will be happen. But this time, for the fast testing, if we want to interact with the database, so by the help of PHP Artisan Tinker, we can open a cell and inside that cell, we can interact and use our model's concept. So in the next video, we will use the DB class inside this PHP Artisan Tinker cell. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.